Today I am here with the very unusual organ. Now when most people think of a Hammond organ, they think of a Hammond B3. But this is also a Hammond organ, but as you can see, it is nothing like a Hammond B3 at all. It is completely different and it has all these crazy switches and stuff. And I just started to do a quick little video about it because it's so unusual and it's so unlike normal Hammond organs that I thought it would be kind of fun. Now I'm in, of all things, a, a warehouse for a, a thrift store, and they had this organ advertised online, and so I thought I'd come and check it out. And it happens to be a little bit quirky, it's making a little noise, and I think it's a bit mad at me right now, but uh, it's still playable, and so I just give you a quick sound demonstration and also talk about some of the things that you can do with it. Now, like a normal Hammond organ, you have draw bars. So you have upper draw bars, pedal draw bars, and then also the lower draw bars that work just like the draw bars on a normal Hammond organ. So if you play a note, you have uh, a bunch of draws here, so if you play a note with all of them put in, nothing happens, but when you pull them out, the sound slowly comes back in, and each one of those is controlling a specific harmonic based off of the fundamental, which is, the, actually that's the sub-fundamental, and this here is the fundamental tone. when you can combine them in all kinds of different ways and get a massive amount of different sounds out of the Hammond organ. That's how the B3 works, and this also has draw bars just like that. You have two sets of draw bars, so you can flick between them and get different sounds. Maybe I could do something like this and have a different sound. And then have this one that I can switch between at a moment's notice, and that's why there's two sets of draw bars for each manual. You have the upper here, the lower here, and then also the tone bar, the pedal tone bars. Now what's interesting about the pedals is that if you look at them, they're actually shiny. I think they're probably plastic. And the white keys are shiny silver and the black keys are black like usual. But on a Hammond B3, they are made of wood and they have a wood grain to them. I just thought it was kind of odd that they made them silver colored rather than wood colored. If we look, we have pedal sound. And these work just like the normal draws, except with the pedal. And that sounds really cool. So we've got pedal and then also up there. So I just thought I'd show you that, that's how that works. And then it's got all these other features. Now I don't know how to make all of them work. There's one up here called Polysynthesis Percussion and I can't get any of these to make sounds other than the piano one. That's the only one I can make work. Which, as you can see, is not the greatest piano sound that has ever been made. But as you can see, it's also very old. Based on the aesthetic of it, I'd say it's maybe from the 70s or the 80s. Um, so that would explain why that sound is rather cheesy compared to the ones I have today. None of these other ones work, even though the piano solo does. I don't know how to get any of these others to work. None of them do. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but those ones don't seem to work. The pedal sustain does exactly what you'd think it does. It adds reverb to the pedal. You can make it sound like a string bass, I guess. Or send the lower manual to the pedal or something. I'm not sure what that one does. We have sustain for stuff, as you can hear. And sustain to foot switch, I assume, would make the sustain go to a foot switch down here. Uh, doesn't seem to. Doesn't seem to. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. We also have Leslie sounds. Now what's interesting is that when you don't have these Leslie switches um, turned on, which is the lower position, the expression pedal doesn't do anything. I'm moving the expression pedal and it should be making the sound louder and quieter, but it's not. However, if I turn on the Leslie, now I have expression pedal. So I don't know if that's a feature or if that's a bug, but either way, it's kind of odd. We also have Leslie down here. It sounds pretty good, honestly. I'm not sure that there is a Leslie in there, but when you turn on Leslie Corral, you can kind of hear at some times something spinning. If I turn Leslie Corral off, I can feel and hear something spinning, and if I turn it on, it goes away. I'm not sure you can hear that because it's kind of angry right now, but... Maybe you can hear that, it's kind of like a motor or something, so I'm not sure what's the, what that's doing, but also the Leslie Corral. Uh, maybe it has to be. I'm not sure that's even doing anything. That is. And this is vibrato. Two different 
different types of vibrato, and then also we've got more reverb down here. I think reverb and sustain are basically the same. You can hear. And then sustain sounds like this. Okay, so it's, sli it's slightly different. This is actually more like sustain, this is more like a reverb. But they have a similar effect if you combine both of them. You have a really long sound. You have brilliance and echo and all kinds of things like that. There's also a cool lamp that you can turn on if you're running at night and you can see all your, uh, your draw bars and stuff working. There's rhythms, which is kind of cool. This is selected the jazz one. We can do waltz. We can do western shuffle. We can do afro latin. We can do Roomba Beguine, don't know what that one is, it's that apparently, or we can do Hard Rock. There's all kinds of cool stuff, and this activates and deactivates the rhythm. We've got uh, pedal sounds, you can make it sound like a bass drum, uh, apparently. Hear that? A little thumpy. And then you can make it sound like a cymbal. Hear that? Very faint. You can also make the lower manual be a brush. I turn that off. How do I turn it off? I it should be disactivated. Lower manual. Anyway, you can kind of hear it there. You can also make it sound like a snare drum. Which is kind of cool. And that's about it here. Auto variation, tempo. I guess these are like variations on rhythm, so you can just punch a button and have it... Maybe they're like fills or something. You punch it and it does a fill. This is a master volume, I think. Maybe it's volume for the rhythm, I guess. And uh, that's... About it. So now let's give you a quick sound demonstration here. Let me sit, take a minute to uh, set up the draw bars here. Alright, I think that's pretty good. So let's do uh, the House of the Rising Sun, a quick demonstration of just a few bars. play the whole song because it's a copyrighted piece, but I just thought I'd give you a quick little demonstration of what the organ sounds like. Um, because when you have the organ sounds, it actually sounds a decent bit like a real B3. And it has many of the features of a B3. Unfortunately, this one, as I've mentioned before, is being a little bit glitchy at the moment, and I can't quite make that go away. But I just thought that you might find this video interesting of a an, an unusual and most likely very rare Hammond organ from the 1970s or roughly the 80s. Based just on the aesthetic of it, it looks kind of 1980s-ish. Look at the grill cloth here for the speakers and the wood paneling and the, uh, the black accents. They like to do that, I think, during then. The bench here is also different than what would come with a B3. I'm just noticing it's got a uh, cushy little cushion up top and it's got these uh, flat wood sides here as well. To give you a bit of a longer sound demonstration, since I only played House of the Rising Sun a very small amount, I'm going to play uh, my original creation, uh, Things That Make You Stronger, on this Hammond organ. I'm gonna go with that preset and maybe decrease that a little bit. Okay.
Thought you'd enjoy this video. If you know what model this organ is, I'd like to know. I don't see a model name. It does say over here, Animation by Leslie, but other than the Hammond badge here, there's no other model name. The B3 didn't really have a model name on it, as far as I know either, at least not on the front plate where you look at it. So if you guys know what this is, let me know. I'd like to know. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video, you can go check out my channel. I've got videos of my Hammond B3 and other organs I've found in the past, and also lots of videos on piano. So if you like that stuff, you might want to go check it out. And if you want to subscribe, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.